How you get your name? Simple, man. Uh, well, I used to go by Lil, Lil Chris, because that's what everybody called me, my whole family, you know, Junior. Instead of Junior, they called me that. But to me, it just sounds too close to Lil Chris or whatever, so I just changed it up to Big Chris, you know what I'm saying? And later on, as I got older and my style, my style evolved, I changed it into the Big Chris, the lyricist, you know what I'm saying? Because I stand behind that, behind the words, you know what I'm saying? How long you been making music for? Uh, I'm putting it, putting it down on wax for like, i say about 11 years, you know what I'm saying? Been freestyling a little before that. I used to be the beat man, making beats for my homeboys while they, while they kick their rhymes, you know what I'm saying? I got inspired off of them. Shout out to C-Roo, K-Bird, the pioneers uh, in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? My corner, you know what I'm saying? That's who I learned from, you know what I'm saying? You remember the first song you made? Oh, yes. Can't, uh, can't forget that. Me and K-Bird, uh, Put it down on the on the juicy in instrumental B.I.G. Uh, just did a song for the local heads around here. You know what I'm saying? How would it feel when you when you heard yourself back playback on that that playback on that first track? Uh, it felt real good, man. Not uh not to mention the, the comparisons my homeboy K. Bird was putting me up to up against. You know what I'm saying? For my first time, it made me feel real good. You know what I'm saying? Right. What influenced you to get into music? Uh. K Bird, C Root, you know what I'm saying? Pioneers in my in my corner, that's who influenced me to get into it. Like but my, my last uh my last you know high streak I went on goes out to C Root. Is there a SC artist that you look up to or, or that you uh you hold in high regards that you fuck with a lot? Uh yeah man, it's a lot of the, a lot of my homeboys out there doing their thing, man, or people I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Uh Shout out, you know what I'm saying, cuz old Meek Benz, he doing his thing definitely. You know what I'm saying? Uh Big Mike the Mid, you know what I'm saying? He he, he he does his thing holding it down for Georgetown, you know what I'm saying? Few few other cats right now, like can't really come off the top of the head right now, but I'm I'm definitely impressed by uh the talent around here. Name three things you need in the studio when you go to record. Uh one of them I need to leave it alone. It's that herb, that Mary Jane, you know what I'm saying? I won't say I need it, but it's a good uh, asset. Uh, second, I need the, the beat to be pumping, pumping loud. My engineer to play it loud so I, so I can get the vibe off it, you know what I'm saying? Feed off of that, get myself going. And the third one is somebody that, that I uh, affiliate with, one of my homeboys, G-Man, you know what I'm saying? Whoever them, I can get to come and collaborate and lay it down because I'm one of, them, one of them type of people I hate to hear myself all over the track. Like, I like to hear somebody else, man, diversity, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, one of my homeboys, that's it, that's third. 